Hello everybody. So you just bought your new Outlander from Fort Walton Beach, Mitsubishi, and you have a few questions about how to operate it. Like cruise control, climate control, all the fancy buttons, lane departure assist, lane warning, forward collision mitigation assistance, rear parking sensors, all those features that nobody ever really explains to you when you buy the car. They just explain, hey, it's got four wheels and a steering wheel. Well, today we're gonna go over a few things like how to actually operate the vehicle. I'm Brent Roberts and I work at Fort Walton Beach, Mitsubishi. So, you just got your new car. You wanna figure out what to do, how to use it, where to go, and what all these fancy buttons are for. First and foremost, you always want to put your foot on the brake when you shift it into drive. Now most people think you're just going to put it right back like this to shift it into park. That's not the case with these vehicles. It shifts it into neutral. You need to actually physically press the P button with your foot on the brake to engage the park. I now remove my foot from the brake and we are in park. If you so choose, you can activate the parking brake by pulling up on the button while simultaneously depressing the brake pedal. This is used for hills, emergency situations where you're not sure if the car is going to roll away, stuff like that. This vehicle is equipped with dual climate control, heated front seats, you also have a heated steering wheel as well. Use the controls, turn the heat up, turn the cold down, turn it on, turn it off. Pretty self-explanatory when it comes to that. There are a few buttons on here that you may not notice, like, you know, front defroster, rear defroster, recirculation. These are the fan speed buttons. These are the buttons here that actually change the direction of where the air flows towards you. You have the radio, turn it on and off. Just turns the audio off. You can add your home. You can zoom in, zoom out, and view the cameras. You have a top view camera and a turn view camera that actually shows you the trajectory of the vehicle as you turn. You also have lane departure assist, lane keep assist, and forward collision mitigation. Meaning if the vehicle detects a collision is imminent, it will enable all sorts of centers and alarms to let you know, hey, something's going on ahead of the vehicle. You have cruise control right here, up, down, set. You also have voice commands for your phone. Just press them with a button, therefore you don't actually have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Your lights are automatic, so as soon as the lights come on at night, you don't have to do a single thing. You get out of the car, the lights turn off. This vehicle is also equipped with a manual drive mode where you can manually shift it with paddle shifters. This is fun for getting on the highway or say you need to get around a large truck where you're going up or down a large incline, or you're towing something you need to be in a specific gear. It's real helpful and it also helps the transmission be exactly where it needs to be. You've got this sub menu here. You've got multiple different ideas of things to go on. This is going to be your home button. You're going to scroll through all the different options with this button here. You're going to go to the right for information like your gas, your trip, all that good stuff. This is going to be your tire pressures. If you do have navigation engaged, this is where it's going to be showing. This is going to be all your radio stuffs, what's playing on the radio currently. And then this is going to be your setup screen for setting up how you'd like everything set up. You have your mirror controls here. This is the power tilt. Fold your mirrors in for parking. All your power window controls here. You have multiple driving options. Normal for normal driving. Sport mode for uh, tarmac and twisty roads. You have gravel. You also have snow, you have off-road, and then you have economy mode for, you know, if you're just trying to get the best fuel mileage possible. This vehicle is equipped with the full sunroof. And it also has rear shades for the back seat built in. All the seats fold down. It has third row. We're going to be stepping out of the vehicle now to go to the back.
provided the doors open. Plenty of room here. You have rear seats that are heated. You have rear climate control. And this is your third row without the seat headrests on. They fold down for extra cargo room. You have more cargo room back here. Power folding seats. Non-power folding seats on this one. But you do have the power tailgate. Those are the sensors for the backup parking sensors. Nice large wheels to hold the road. They're always on. Large front fascia with large headlights that are LED. This one has the black top roof and the roof rails, which is gonna be part of the nicer model, cream of the crop version. And if there's any other things I can show you, they'd be down here, but currently there's not any features on this vehicle we can go over, aside from the rear trunk opening.